I'll be spending my time, my day, my time reading this. I'll be spending my time reading this just in case if the thing didn't catch it all. But uh, here's a new book I'm reading too that uh, all praise to the Most High for impressing that brother to do that. The uh, Jamaican brother, I mean the 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 Benjamite brother. I'm gonna say Benjamite brother, and everything, you know. So I'm gonna post this video for those of you who are watching it now on YouTube. I got this off of Facebook. This video, I got it off of Facebook. Yeah. So, but for those of you who are watching it now, I already got it on my uh, YouTube page. Yeah. So I'm just saying it like that. So. So it's just in between. So I always, when I post something interesting on my Facebook page, I always take an interest in posting it, a piece of it. I definitely have to post it. Oh, I got another video I got to upload right after this one too. It's a brother's video that I, I started following him over on TikTok. And he lost his uh, mother. And I'm going to post that video. And I'm going to give my final thoughts on that. And I'm going to try to fix the video up. So if you want to see that video, you're going to have to go on YouTube to see it. And it's going to be on, what channel I'm going to put that video on? On my Hebrew channel. Yeah, I'm going to put it on my Hebrew channel. Um, I'm also reading from the Apocrypha. Yeah, this, this is the book that the Catholic Church took out the Bible in the 17th and 18th centuries. And we we get off into that. And uh, as I when I pull me some stuff together, we're gonna uh, talk about that. But anyway, people, family, the Esau, this man right here, as you see, who is Esau Edom? E A S U, Esau. This man is the cause of our people going astray these people that man is the cause of our people going astray I can pick it up and I have such a passion for this truth even though I had a reading problem coming up but the most high and blessed me so far is to be able to read and I'm sitting in my word daily saying Lord please teach me how to read this stuff teach me how to be a better reader you know what I'm saying because I want to get this word out and a lot of our people is sitting down on this here. They have the gift of reading. They have the gift of reading and writing. But they still, they sitting down and occupying their mind with the things of this world. Bro, we do not have time for that. We got to spend time in, in building ourselves up in the Word. If we don't spend time in building ourselves up in the Word, we're going to find ourselves being, being, being goddamn seed. That's what's going to happen to us. Why do you have to wait until the devil tell you that he is the devil? Why do you got to sit up there and wait till Esau tell you he the damn devil before you accept it? When you can just take the one. If he tell you, it's going to be too late. He ain't doing nothing but leading your ass astray. That's all he's doing. Esau ain't doing nothing but leading your ass astray. That's all he's doing. And you don't give a damn. You just study occupying your mind with the things of the world and you think for a minute that you're going to still get into the heaven, the kingdom of heaven. You think none of us can. And you think everything going to go peaches and cream. You think that the world's still going to go on. You think everything's still going to be good and dandy, don't you? But guess what? You're fooling your damn self. But that's the way the enemy got you occupied. Do you know why they create the different things on TV? Is to keep your ass in sin. That's the whole purpose of it, but your but your ass can't see it. But I'm a mighty afraid your ass gonna wake up too late. When you wake up, it's gonna be too late. But you sitting up in there giving all your and then when it's time for you to defeat the enemy. Look, I done made up my mind. I don't want nobody telling me no any motherfucking thing. Ain't nobody gonna tell me no anything. Cause guess what? I'm gonna make sure I do my research and I'm not gonna assume and give my own damn opinion. I'm not doing that. Do you believe, do y'all, do y'all follow the Bible? Y'all say y'all believe in the Bible, don't you? Let's go to Joshua 24, 15. 
I'm going to show you, if y'all say y'all serving the same God, and I'm, I'm, I think I'm about to get off into more of this tomorrow. The book of Judges, Joshua. Yeah, Joshua. That's before the book of Judges. The book of Joshua 24, 15. Joshua 24, 15. The Bible says, And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served, on, served that were on the other side of the flood, are the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Now, when he says, if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve. That's what the Bible says. Whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood. Remember the flood how they build the big tower, they worship the gods of Babylon. The Most High says, in other words, he's saying, choose if you're going to serve Babylon or you're going to serve God. When it says the gods on the other side of the flood, because after the flood, Noah's family is populated across the earth, right? And the whole family, through them three sons of Noah, depopulated and replenished they kept on replenishing the earth with, with, with offsprings and uh, generation of children. They kept generating and having children, right? So during the time of the flood, the Israelites started to going off. They started to build this big tower and they reached the heaven, right? The reach to heaven means that God's judgment has, has, was getting ready to come to place. When it says, they built a tower so high whose top may reach the heaven, right? And reach the heaven, meaning that God's judgment was almost that, that vengeance, God's vengeance, wrath, vengeance, wrath was almost full, bro. Um, let's look at uh, Genesis chapter 15 now. Let's go to Genesis 15. Ten, eleven, twelve, thir uh, Genesis chapter fifteen. Um, uh, where is that? I know it's right here. It says, "And thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace, and thou shalt." Thou shalt be buried in a good old age, but in that, but verse 16, but in the fourth generation, they shall come hither again for the iniquity, that's it, for the iniquity of the Amorites is, is not yet full. The iniquity haven't reached up yet. It's not yet full. The cup is not, that means that, um, his, I'm close to bringing judgment up on these nations. Because if you go up, it says, after the Israelites served slavery through their enemy. Look what it says right here. Because uh, see, we always saying God judges people individually. No, the Bible says that he judged you by nations. Now look at uh, Genesis chapter 15 and verse 14. And also that nation, see that? Not individual. 
See, so stop going around here saying things that the Bible is not saying. The Bible didn't say he's going to judge you individually. He said he's going to judge you as a nation. Look what it says in verse 14 of Genesis uh, 15, 14. And also that nation whom they shall serve, I will judge. And afterward, they shall come out with great substance. He said they come out. He said also that nation whom they will serve. That means serve, meaning that we're serving Esau. We're in his kingdom right now. This man right here, who is Esau? Edom. And uh, let's see here. Who is Esau? Edom. Let's look at. Um, let's go to the like the beginning of this book. The, le the legacy of Esau Edom. To help under help answer the question, who is Esau Edom? The final necessary steps is to examine the racial and geographical history of Esau and his descendants. Life and history of Esau. Esau was the firstborn of Isaac and thus were heir to the birthright de derived from the direct racial lineage of Adam to Noah to Abraham. Thus Esau was racially admitted a he was an Amite uh, an, an Ad uh, Amite a Shemite a Hebrew the racial stock of the white race okay just as Esau despised his birthright Genesis chapter 25 and 34 when he sold it to Jacob he also despised his race by marrying strange women outside of his race Esau married the daughters of Canaan or Canaanites see Esau he wasn't keeping the, he, 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 he would rather go out and do wicked rather than keep the God's commandments that's why the Most High God says, "Ye you know, in Hebrews chapter 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one mouse of meat sold his birthright. And you know, afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance. And see, a lot of our people have Esau's spirit upon them. You may be asking me, who is Esau then? Esau is the biblical name for the for the uh, for the Caucasian people. Genesis chapter twenty eight and verse six and Genesis thirty six two, the daughters of Het of the Hittite. Genesis chapter twenty six verses thirty four, and Genesis chapter twenty seven and verses forty six and Genesis thirty six two. Okay, the Hivites. Genesis chapter thirty six two had intermarried with the the Horites. Those were the other nations like the like the Africans and the like the people that enslaved the Israelite Israelites. Genesis thirty six nineteen verse twenty one Jeshur 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 chapter thirty and verse twenty eight. These interracial marriages were a grief of mine to Isaac. Interracial marriage, it was a grief of mine to Isaac and Rebecca. Esau's parents, Genesis chapter 26, 35. The descendants of Esau from these marriages be, became known as Edomites or as Edom. Genesis chapter 36, verses 1 through 9. The Edomites also possessed some Israelites' blood. That means that that's when they went to... Uh, Esau went to in, in, intermingling with Ishmael, and then um, Esau's children went to start intermingling and mixing with the Israelites. You see what I'm saying? And that's how a lot of our people and a lot of us look a little, kind of a little different because our people did interracial mixing in the most high. Level. That was these scriptures are showing that that was forbidden by the Most High. God never intended for us is to be dating outside our race. You see what I'm saying? He don't, that, that, that's, that's a sin against God. 
when you go and you marry, if we do that, well, if I'm doing it, or well, if anybody, if I'm doing it, it's still a sin. You see what I'm saying? If I go outside of my lineage, or go outside the Israelite nation, and marry a Canaanite, uh, um, um, uh, one of them Hivites, although African nation, the most high said, according to the Bible, that's, that's not biblical. You see what I'm saying? And even in the New Testament, it you, now watch this in Esau and the Edomites dwell in Mount Seir. That's Genesis chapter 36, verse 8 through 9, which God gave to Esau for a possession. Possession means something that you, you own it. Genesis, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 5. Joshua chapter 24, verses, verse 4. This land was also known as Idumea. That's another name for what we call the Caucasian people or what some people would say the white people or whatever. That's their biblical identity right there. Idumea, Esau, or Edom. It says in Genesis chapter 34 and verse 6, the land of Edom, Mount, Edom, Mount Seir, lies south of, it's going to say that, okay, the Dead Sea Scrolls stretching forth I mean, stretching south to its seaport as Elam, Elad, uh, the Duke, Duke, Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verses 2 and, and uh, verses 2, 1, and 8, including the ravine known as Patron, Patria. After the the conquest of Judah by the Babylonian, some of the Edomites who had mixed with the Jews in their land res, res, resided, res, resetting with them, resetted with them in Judah. Jeremiah chapter 40, verse 11 and 12. Okay, it says, two centuries later, all of Edom were driven out of Mount Seir. The Edomites were driven from Petra, Petra westward by the Nabian, the Nabians, the Nabi, Nabians in uh, 312 BC. And before the middle of the second century BC, they were occupied not only southern Judah, but also Hebron and the country to its north, as far as Bet Beza, Bet Beza, 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 uh, Maccabees chapter four and First Maccabees chapter four and verses twenty nine and. First uh, Maccabees chapter five and sixty-five. Matter of fact, since the, let's look it up. I think it's going to be a pretty long video, but that's all right. It's not my plan; it's the Most High plan. So let's let's get with it. Yeah, see, you got to. We got to learn how to do our research, man. We can't be sitting up just occupying our mind with other stuff. We have no time for that. You know? But do you know a lot of people hate me for being in and doing what I'm doing? A lot of people hate me. And when I say people, Esau put that spirit up on our own family members. And I, and even our own family members hate us for this. Because we calling out the real thing. You know? And it's sad. First Maccabees 4 and 29. Let's read that. First Maccabees chapter four. Just hang. Okay, here we go. First Maccabees chapter four. I should have had my glasses on. Yeah, let me get my glasses. Hold on a second. Why has they got the light on in the hallway right there? First Maccabees chapter four and verse twenty nine. 
It says, so they came unto Idumean and pitched their tents at Beth Bethsaida. And Judah met them with 10,000 men. And when he saw that mighty army, he prayed and said, Bless, and said, Blessed art thou, O Savior of Israel, who does quell the violence, who does quell the violence of the mighty men by the hand of thy servant David, and giveth the host of strangers unto the hand of Joshua, the son of of Saul and his armor bearer. Shut up this army in the hand of thy people Israel and let them be confounded in their power and horsemen. Yeah, so that, that's what it's saying. The Edomites were driven from Patron westward by the Nebians in, in 312 BC and before the middle of the second century BC they were occupied not only southern southern Judah but also Hebron and the country to its north as far as Bezar Bezar Bed, 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 first Maccabees the, Neb the Nebians now occupied Mount Seir and the Edomites were driven unto the old territory of Judah. Of Judah, the Maccabees family, a remnant of the true Judites, and ruled. That's right, they are the true Judites, and the and the real Jews are black. Ruled Judah from, it says, and the true Judites and ruled Ju Judah from uh, one sixty six to th to thirty seven B C under Judas. Judas, Maccabees, 1st Maccabees 5 and 3. Let's read 1st Maccabees 5 and 3. The Bible says, Then Judah fought against the children of, of Esau. That's, that's talking about the, the, the you know, Caucasian people. The Caucasian. Then Judah fought against the children of Esau. And I do mean, that's the same thing as uh, the, the so-called Caucasian people. Are uh, are the Arbaters because they besieged Israel. They besieged that means they messed with the children of Israel and he gave them a great overthrow and oblated their co their courage and took their spoils. Also verse 4, also he remembered the injury of the children of, of being be who had been a snare and an offense unto the people, and that they lay in wait for, for them in the ways. He shut them up, therefore, in the towns, and encamped against them, and destroyed them utterly, and burnt the towns of that place with fire, and all that were therein. Afterward, he passed over to the children of Ammon, where he found a mighty power and much people with Timothys and much people with Timothys to yeah the much much people with Timothys their their captain so he found many ba battles so he he fought many battles that's verse seven that's a first Maccabees five and verse Seven. So he fought many battles with with them until at at length they were discomfort before him, and he smote them. And when and when he had taken Jazer with the towns belonging to th there there to, he returned unto Judah. Then the heathen that were at Gilead. Then the heathen, heathens that were at Gilead assembled themselves together against the Israelites. That they, now, why would it say against the Israelites? That mean they was against the Hebrew Israelites. This is in the Bible. I'm literally reading this out of the Bible. This is coming from the book of 1 Maccabees chapter 5 and verse 9. Then the heathen, that the heathens, that mean those are not Israelites. They, they are the other nations outside the nation of Israel. 
Then the heathen that were at Gilead assembled themselves together against the Israelites that were in their quarters to destroy them, but they fled to the to the fortress of uh, the their man. Uh, okay, my bad on that one, y'all. Death man, death man. I don't know what that is, y'all. My bad on that one. Okay, it sounds like a Greek word. It sounds like a word we don't get every day. And he sent letters unto Joshua, verse 10, of First Maccabees chapter 5 and verse 10. And he sent letters unto, unto, unto Judas and his brethren, the heathens that are round about us are assembled together against us to destroy us and they are prepared to come and take the fortress whereunto we are are fleed we are fleed timothy's being cap captain of their host verse 12 of first maccabees chapter 5 and verse 12 come now therefore and deliver us from their hands for many of us are slain yea all our brethren that were in the place of te uh, Tubai, Tubai, Tobiah are to put to death their wives and their children also. They have carried away captives and bore away their staff and they have destroyed, the, destroyed their about a thousand men. So, in other words, God gave, uh, allowed, he said, uh, he allowed the, 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 the children, he said they, that it, you see or hear a lot of stuff in there. He's going to repay Idumia for all of the things that they have done to God's people, right? Let's read this for the, ne the, Neb the Neb Nebians. Now occupied Mount Seir, and the Edomites were driven into the old territory of Judah. The Maccabees family, a remnant of the true Judites, and ruled Judah from 166 to one. I mean three. I mean 37. 166 to 37 B.C. And under Judah, Judas Maccabees, chapter one and five and three, cap re recaptured the city of Hebron from the Edomites in 164 BC during the time of of John Hurricanes Hurricanes in 13 I mean 135 through 105 BC the nephew of Judas and the Judites were again faced with the hostility of Idumeans Idumeans that means Idumeans mean the Caucasian or the of the, of the so called what we call the modern, modern day Caucasian people. You see what I'm saying? That's what they were. When you hear the word Idumian, that's who that is. The Hurricanes confronted the Edomites. That's right. Causing a the, the, decisive change in the relation between the two factors. John Hurricanes uh, conquered the whole, the whole of Edom, and undertook the forced conversion of its inhabitants to Judaism. Joshua, and uh, X I I I nine uh, first. Henceforth. The Edomites became a section of the Jewish people. Thus, at this just a, ju, thus at this juris, ju, juris, juster of time, the Edomites were then incorporated with the Jewish nation, and their country was called by the Greeks and the Romans, I do mean, the Greeks are the white people, the Romans are the Greeks 
and all of them and the Romans, all these uh, Caucasians. Uh, I do mean Mark chapter. Well, 15, I think, I don't know, 6 and 6, okay. That's I, I, and 8. The pro, 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 pro limity, pro to me, pro to me, geogra geographic, 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 verse 16, but the tide, the, the tide turned in favor of the Edomites functioning with just Ju Julius Caesar was made an anter anti plate plater, an Edomite prosecutor of Judah in four hundred I mean forty seven BC when Antiplater who Antiplater was killed four years later and, and his son Herod gained power but was rejected by the Judites. Okay. Um all of this was going about how the Hebrews was mistreated by the Greeks, the Romans, and all of these other nations that had a hand in, in their slavery. The most high said that they was gonna have to go and serve captivity for that. So, I guess that'll be all I'll try to read for right now. But uh, I didn't think I was going to come this long and go this long as I did. I went over 30 minutes. And uh, once I turn this camera off, I'm going to get off into this. So, I guess I got to test this video out. And then I'm going to post it and everything and get it out on YouTube so you all can see it on YouTube as well too. But for those of you who are already here... Um, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? You get it here. If you see it here, it's going to be on YouTube too. Well, it's no need. You, you probably going to, you probably feel like, well, it's no need for me to go search for it on YouTube when I see it here. So I don't have to go. It's, it's the same thing. So, but just in case, just for some that may get it, uh, over on YouTube. And so, cause a lot of people browsing through YouTube all the time. And say, oh, I can watch it here. And so they just watch it here. And though for those who on Facebook, if they scroll in and just at that moment, like, um, you know what I'm saying? Or they say, well, they can watch it over here. So I'm going to see how this came out. Hopefully it came out pretty good. And uh, what, what I'm going to put in here. Who is Esau Edom? That's what I named it. Who is Esau Edom? All right. Mm, I guess I'm a, I'm, I'm out.